very buried, ugh. Yeah, though, I think gal stuff, probably signed that wrong. I feel like this whole, like, video is just me being super excited that books are signed for me. I just, something about a signed book just makes me all giddy inside. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another unboxing video. I have a total of five packages to unbox, so without further ado, let us get started. The first package is from... Somewhere. That does not say. It's Royal Mail, so that's like overseas, isn't it? That's what we're going with. This book is from overseas. The book is Dark is the Sea by Heather Blanchard, and... and can I just say that obsessed with this cover, Girls Walking Away, always my thing, but... She has the prettiest writing I have ever seen. Like, just the way she wrote my name. So pretty. I wish I could write like you, girl. Oh my gosh. This book follows Rowan, who is haunted by her mother's disappearance, and she ends up leaving London to go to this small Scottish town where she grew up in. And with the help from her very eccentric aunt, she unleashes this power that she has within her. We don't know what the power is yet, but I'm thinking it's some kind of magic thing. She uncovers some deep secrets about her family, and she ends up unleashing this very dark, powerful, like, spirit called the Hunter. I think it's a spirit. I could be very wrong on that aspect. But he's basically hunting Rowan and trying to destroy everything she loves, and she needs to use her newfound power in order to stop the Hunter. And it just sounds super good, and I just... <gasps> sounds right up my alley. So, you know your girl is excited for this one. The second package is from... Amazon, apparently. And, uh, I didn't order anything from Amazon, so... Assuming it's a Goodreads book. <gasps> Oh, I know what this is. The book is No Holding Back by Kate Evan Galsta. I'm probably saying that wrong, Evan Galsta. I'm sorry. But I actually won this book from a Twitter giveaway. She was doing a pre-order. And I ended up winning, so thank you for sending me the book. This book follows a boy named Nathan, and everybody knows that he is in love with his best friend Preston, except Preston. And Nathan decides that he is going to finally explain his feelings to Preston, but Preston is going off to train in the Olympics for swimming, so he thinks that maybe a trip to Europe will bring them closer together, but he doesn't know if telling Preston is the right thing to do or if he will end up losing his best friend. It sounds like a very cute, contemporary, coming out kind of story. So you know your girl is excited because she hasn't read a lot of these books, so very interested to see where this one goes. And apparently it is a sequel to No Love Allowed, which I didn't read. But a lot of people who I've heard have read that book, really enjoyed it. So I don't know if these are like linked or if I can read this without reading the first book. We'll see if I understand it. I'll Google it or something and leave it down below for you guys if you want to know if it's a standalone or not. So check it out when I post. Next book is from... Oh, oh, okay, I know exactly what this is. I am way too excited about this. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? The book is Our Chemical Hearts by Crystal Sutherland, and I actually won this off of uh, her Twitter. But this was on, like, my most anticipated releases for... I think it was September, and then I ended up winning it, and I freaked out, like I was dying inside. So, it's in my possession, and it is beautiful, and I just, I can't get over how gorgeous the cover is, and just, <gasps> thank you so much! Okay, so, this book follows Henry, who has always wanted to fall in love, but he's never actually had the chance to. That's when he meets Grace, who actually is nothing that he thought he would like in a girl. Henry and Grace end up getting paired to mark these papers and sparks fly and he ends up realizing that true love can be a little rocky at times. And, 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 it's signed, it's signed, guys, it's signed. Ah, this is so exciting! I'm very excited to read this. It was on my most anticipated, like I said, so I'm definitely going to get to this as soon as possible. The next book is from... Vegas? Vegan? Vegan Mini. I don't know where Vegan Mini is, but... Apparently it's from Vegan Mini. The book is Updrift and it is by Erin Stevens and this book is actually part of a tour that I'm participating in so I'm very excited to read it. By the time this video goes up I'm gonna already have my review up for it so I'll link it up above if you guys want to check it out. But I'm so excited! Oh my gosh! And also signed! This book follows Kate Sweeting and her mother Kara, and ever since Kate's father died, her life has kind of been in an uproar. That's when Kate and her mother move to the shores. Kara gets to play the library bachelorette in town, and Kate decides that she is going to figure out what's up with the mysterious Blake family down on the beach. Everyone is very captivated by Kate and Kara's arrival. That's when the man of Kara's dreams arrives and he is all dripping and wet 
and he doesn't exactly explain his intentions to her. Kate is willing to kind of let her mother be happy and do what she wants to do until one day she decides that she is going to go running into the water and try to figure out what is up with this mysterious family. When Kate rushes into the water, she is met by Gabe Blake and another individual who is considerably a little less nice than Gabe. And by the time Kate navigates her way home, everything has changed for her. She needs to decide what exactly she's going to risk to be with the man that she loves. This book is the first book in their Mare Chronicles, so very interested in it. I enjoy mermaids very much, so you know your girl is excited. So as I said before, my review will be up by the time you see this video, so you guys can check that out if you are interested. It also came with a cute little bookmark. This is looking for the sequel to Updrift Catch Breakwater Fall 2016, so that's exciting. And it also has the author's card, so I'll leave her links down below if you guys want to check her out. And it also came with a little envelope, which we will see what is inside. Ooh, it's a tattoo that says Into the Sea. So, you know your girl gonna put that on her wrist or something and pretend that she is fancy because your girl not fancy, but girls can pretend sometimes, you know? Girls can pretend. And the final package is from the US, that's all it says. It doesn't say where. And the next book is Vinyl by Sophia. Elaine Hansen, and this is also part of a tour that I'm taking part in, but not until December, I believe. And also by the time this video is up, this review will be up, so I will also leave the link up above. But can we just take in how gorgeous this cover is? I cannot. And it came with a pretty little bookmark, which I love bookmarks, so you know your girl is excited! And can we also take in this book is signed too? So, um, four out of five books are signed in this haul, and I'm very excited about it. I'm just going to read the back of the book to you guys because I'm kind of confused with it. It's very interesting sounding, so here we go. Rhonda staggered back and forth across the room half a dozen times, rolling the kinks from her neck and kneading her shoulders. The exercise worked the hitches from her mind. For the first time in her life, her thoughts were bitingly clear. Everything that had happened over the course of the last few days was impossible. A shiny without a singer. A makeshift hospital underground. A symbol invisible to an entire city that she alone could see. Her singer, ripped from her skull just before the quiet song, could drag her under. Ronja halted her heart, writhing in her ribs. The conductor tried to kill me, she thought dimly. Why? Like what? What you talking about, Willis? I have no idea what this is about, but it sounds so, like, intriguing. I want to know everything right now. But, um, I can't until, uh, I finish the book. So, we'll see what I think of it, but I'm very excited. This is book one in the vinyl trilogy. Obviously, I only have the first book, but if I like it, I will probably try to find me book two and three. I don't even know if they're out yet, though, to be honest. But as I said, by the time this video goes up, I will already have my review up, so y'all can check that out if you're interested. Alright guys, so those were the five packages I received in the mail recently. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!